Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah Moon and thanks for stopping by. Today I am so excited to be showing you guys another bag review and it's this Jacques Mousse Le Chiquito Moyen bag. Let's just take a moment to admire how cute this bag is. I also want to thank Farfetch for partnering with me in today's video. I still can't believe I'm doing a collaboration with them because I'm personally a big fan of shopping at Farfetch. They have such an extensive selection on their website ranging from high-end luxury goods to emerging designers to just the trendiest brands. What also makes Farfetch unique is that it's a platform that's linked to multiple boutiques for that specific item. So you get to shop for your favorite product while still supporting small businesses. Before I get into the details of the bag, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you found it helpful, and leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are on this Jacques Mousse Le Chiquito bag. Right now, let's get into some of the product specs. So I personally had my eyes on this bag for quite some time now, so I'm so ecstatic to finally have my hands on it. So this model is called the Le Chiquito Moyen, which is kind of like their medium size, but it's still a very miniature bag. The size right below this, which I believe is the original, is just very small and a little bit impractical for me. There's also one size bigger called Le Grand, and that one was just a little bit too big for me for this kind of shape. I just feel like the size and length is perfect for my frame, and it's been pretty practical because I've been able to fit most of my daily needs inside this bag. And I'll be sharing a what's in my bag a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. So I first fell in love with this bag because I felt like it was such a great statement piece. The shape of the bag is so unique as well as the exaggerated top handle and the gold hardware as well as the logo just pops. They also have a wide range of beautiful colors but I just went with the classic black. I also love the versatility of it. You can either dress it up or down and during the day I would usually wear it as crossbody with the long straps. If I wanted to go out for dinner and have more of a classy look, I would probably take off the straps, just carry it around as a top handle. I also feel like it's going to be very durable because the leather and the finishings are just really high quality and very thick, so I'm not really worried about the wear over time. So when I got this bag, it was priced at $5.95 on the Farfetch website, but the pricing may have fluctuated depending on which boutique it'll ship from. Most promo codes are not excluded from this item, so you can also get a little discount off from your purchase. Considering it's a luxury bag, for the quality and the aesthetics of it, I think it's a really great price. And if you're worried about the functionality of it, I'm going to be sharing what's inside my bag right now. So personally for me, I usually gravitate towards mini or smaller size bags because I feel like it just looks better with my frame and my outfits. If I need to carry something extra that won't fit in my bag, I usually just carry a secondary tote bag with me, especially when I go into the office. Now the Jacquemus Le Chiquito bags are iconic for being just the mini bag. But like I mentioned before, the original mini was just a little bit too small and impractical for me. I would have only really worn that if I was going to dinner and I needed to just carry a lip gloss or something. This Moyen model is just a very good daily size and I'll show you guys what's inside of it. So first and foremost, I have my Louis Vuitton key holder that I always carry with me. Now if you just have a regular set of keys without a wallet like me, you can probably fit more inside. If I really needed to carry something inside my bag, I'll probably just take out the keys and leave the wallet, but I normally just carry it as is and save myself the trouble. Next I have my wallet, which is just a card holder. I don't actually bring around a full-size wallet because this card holder is sufficient for my everyday needs. I just have my essential cards, some cash, and it's nice and compact to just carry around everywhere. So I just fit that right behind the key holder. 
I also carry around a mirror with me. This one was a gift with purchase from Kiss Me, which is a Korean beauty brand. It's the perfect size to store in the inner pocket compartment. It's slim enough to just slip inside here and I'm so happy that this bag came with this inner pocket. Next, I always carry around some emergency medicine with me. I know this case is like falling apart. It used to be like a travel Advil case. I definitely need a new one, but it's been doing the job. So I just keep refilling it. So I always carry around some Advil and Tylenol with me just in case I need it for like a headache or something. And I put this case standing up to one of the corners so that it's nicely tucked inside and I can just maximize the corner space inside. This actually comes in really handy and whenever I'm out with my friends, someone asks if anyone has Advil. I'm always that girl that has this in her purse. I also always carry around a mini tweezer. This one is the travel one from Tweezer Man, which comes in this little case. You just never know if you need this for a cosmetic or emergency reasons. Sometimes you may get like a splinter or something. I don't know, but I always carry this mini travel tweezer with me. And since it's in the skinny tube, I just put it standing up on the other corner of my bag. Next up is my handy lash brush that's inside of this case. This is essential for me because I have lash extensions on and I do brush them throughout the day. So it's a must for me to carry it around. I love how my lash tech gave me this fancy one with the case so that it doesn't get dirty inside of my bag. So I just pop this a long way on the bottom to optimize the space. Lastly, I have my lip product of the day. This changes day to day depending on what I'm wearing. But this Dior lip glow is definitely one of my favorite daily products. Since I reapply my lipsticks throughout the day frequently, I like to lay this on top of everything that's in my bag so that it's just easily accessible. That way I can just grab it off the top whenever I need it. So that is everything I carry around inside my bag. The only thing I couldn't fit was my hand sanitizer because the one I have is just really big and bulky. If I got a smaller size, I feel like I could squeeze it in into one of the corners. I also don't have my AirPods in here, which I normally carry around especially if I'm commuting or riding subway but I've been carrying it in my pocket and I actually just got the Apple AirPods Max so I've been just using that. If I really wanted to I can probably fit my AirPods in here but I just don't like overstuffing this bag because that'll just make it harder for the flap to open up and also I feel like it might just kind of distort the shape especially over here if it's so full inside. So you guys probably guessed it, but I genuinely love this bag so much and I would 100% recommend it. Especially this Moyan size is perfect and it still holds that iconic mini bag look while still being practical. I have a couple of core bags that I rotate based on what I'm wearing and also where I'm going, but this whole week I've just been carrying this bag. I've been carrying it in the daytime whenever I go into the office and I'm also going to carry it tonight because I have some dinner plans with my friends. So overall, I love it. If you're still thinking about it, definitely get it because you won't regret it. So that completes my bag review. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any questions for me, definitely leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you guys in my next video.